Hey, welcome back to my channel. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs. I am so excited to finally be filming this video because I have yet another amazing art haul. I've been collecting it over the period of weeks, if not months, but I wanted to kind of reserve everything until it all arrived and then we unpack it together, we swatch together and we have a good time. So let's get started. <laughs> I basically want to highlight some amazing Amazon finds and I will leave the links to everything down below in the description for you. So first things first is this. This is the Caran d'Ache 15 Neo Color 2 Aquarelle Wax Pastels. So they are essentially watercolor pastels and look at that. I mean, this is such a cute, cute box. The red and the thing, it does really remind me of Switzerland and I guess it makes sense that it's Swiss made. So when you open it, here it is. So I haven't really been one for um, pastels, but in theory, these can also kind of be turned into watercolor. At the end, I will swatch them. And I thought that this pack, which is relatively inexpensive, will be a good way for me to figure out whether I like it, whether I want to experiment more, use it as well in terms of like complementing my watercolors and for mixed media. And there are such, it's such a good collection of colors that I think if I do like it, I can just buy individual colors as well. This is definitely like a good starter set and it's just so adorable. I've heard such wonderful things about it and I'm really eager to experiment with it. The packaging essentially says that it's um, water soluble wax pastels, which to me is like, sounds like a contradiction or an oxymoron. They are for wet or dry application, can be applied on different surfaces or materials such as wood, ceramic, stone, etc. Excellent light fastness. It, there are 84 colours and these are just 15 of them. High concentration, extra fine pigments and also available individually. So that is item number one and I'm really, I think of all the things, this is definitely one of the things that I am most excited about. The colours are just so beautiful and it's just something completely different to what I'm used to using. So I'm really, really looking forward to them. They just so happen to be cheaper on Amazon than any of the other art shops that I had seen at the time. So I will leave that link down below for you if you're interested. But yeah, it feels like a win. It really does. I'll put that to the side. Then next. <laughs> Ta-da! So these are the Paul Rubin Artist Watercolours and I got the 24 pan set. So here it is, you get a swatch card with pigment information as well on like light-ish watercolour paper. This is like an information leaflet but it's not in English. You get this cloth and I really don't know what to use this cloth for. Some people kind of say, you know, to dab off the excess um, water when you're painting. But it's just so nice that I want to leave it that way, if that makes sense. And then, la pierre de resistance, the watercolours. So these are the Paul Rubens watercolours. It comes in this beautiful light pink tin. And in terms of the colour range, so the reason I wanted to get this is, one, it was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> which is always a good reason but also I've like heard quite good things about them I already have the Paul Rubin student set and recently I've really wanted to kind of invest a bit more in um, getting you know better quality supplies and I've heard that these are relatively good quality they're cheaper than other professional brands and I just wanted to give them a try in terms of the colors that are included let me see if you get the ah uh, yes so you do kind of like get the pigment information on here and then you can match it up to the number that they've put on there. So you get the permanent lemon yellow, cadmium yellow medium, Indian yellow, cadmium red light, scarlet, madder red, violet, permanent violet, cobalt blue, French ultramarine, sky blue, sea blue, Prussian blue, Payne's grey, yellow green, tree green, hooker's green bright, yeah, <laughs> hooker's green bright, emerald green, yellow ochre, Pezzuli red ochre, umber, burnt sienna, burnt brown and coal black. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about using this and just experimenting with it, comparing it to other brands as well. And also comparing it to like the student grade to see what the significance difference is, not just in light fastness, but just in quality as a whole. 
If you're enjoying the video so far, then don't forget to hit the like button as it makes a massive difference to my channel and I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this, then hit the subscribe button because I have plenty of haul videos which are available on the hauls playlist that I'll also link for you as I love art supplies and I love art. And feel free to say hi in the comments because I always love getting to know who's watching the videos and you will see if you read the rest of the comments that everyone's super, super friendly. So let's continue because I do have more things to show you. <laughs> Let me put this the other way around. There we go. Look at the care they've put into the packaging. It's just so beautiful. Can you imagine receiving this as a gift? So this was on offer and also came with this. So this is the Paul Rubens watercolor sketchbook. It is slightly smaller than A6. It's got 20 sheets of 300 gsm 100 percent cotton paper it pretty much is hot pressed looking at it i don't know what they describe them what they actually describe it as but looking at it the paper hasn't got much texture on it so it's actually leaning more towards hot pressed and cold pressed um it comes with a ribbon with a little pocket at the back and it's yeah the two came together and i just could not i just couldn't resist <laughs> So we'll put that there. And as it happens, a few weeks later, Paul Rubens had yet another sale, but on different items. And this time it was this. Ah, uh, yes. So this is actually the watercolour block. So again, 100% cotton paper, hot pressed, 300 GSM, and comes with 20 sheets. As I mentioned, it is a block which means that when you open it, it's actually glued on all four sides and they just leave a small area here for you to kind of use a letter opener or something to tear away the sheet. And the good side, the good reason for this is just that it stops, it helps stops, it helps stop warping. It is hot pressed, which means I think I will probably end up using it more for like gouache than watercolor, but I like the option of being able to use it for both. And one thing that is kind of like, the other thing that I kind of thought about is it is a block which means that eventually when I finish using these sheets this whole like board will be empty so I think what I will do then is get um, some elastic and actually turn this into a travel journal so that I can keep this beautiful case um, and continue to paint and sketch in it essentially and it was so good that I got not one but two because they were both um they were an offer for two so one in black and one in pink but essentially the same block inside I thought it was the same block inside but then looking at it this is black and this is white so let's open it and see so again 20 pages 300 gsm 100 percent cotton and the reason Ah, it is it is a block. It's just that they've used white glue. So yeah, same thing. I can now that I can feel it, I can see that it is a block. Although I wish it was, this video is not sponsored and I wasn't gifted any of this. I bought it all myself. But Paul Rubens do tend to have really, really good sales on Amazon and I love finding good quality affordable art supplies so the two 100 percent cotton watercolor blocks with 20 sheets each were 23 pounds on sale and the set of 24 professional grade watercolors with a free sketchbook that also has 20 sheets came up to 30 pounds so that's 53 pounds for the whole lot which is incredible then as I kind of continue to branch into getting better quality supplies I also want to kind of have the supplies that enable me to experiment a bit more and have like a bit more freedom and one of said supplies is the moleskins so what used to be the book that I couldn't use anymore is now the book that's going to allow me to experiment a bit more freely and I'd run out of them um, because I tend to have like six seven eight sketchbooks going at the same time and thus I just got another one yesterday to have to hand in case like inspiration strikes me and I want to do something that doesn't quite go with the other sketchbooks that I have <laughs> at the moment and let me know if you also do that if that makes sense or if it's just me which is okay we're all different isn't it um so yeah that's why I got this book and then I got this so this is I've had a set of this before and I actually finished it and if you've seen kind of like my journey into watercolor then you'll know that initially I started with some really rubbish watercolors and then I tried this version or something similar to this again by Royal Talents Van Gogh set and it was just 
so nice it's actually one of the reasons that I continued painting so it kind of holds a special place in my heart this is slightly different to the one I got because I actually had the 12 set whereas this is the 12 plus 3 um so the 15 pan set so when you open it it comes with this tiny brush which to be honest I, I don't paint that small but it's nice that it's there so this tiny brush which goes there there's six mixing palettes the ends tend to look like this not because they're broken but so that you can actually use it to take out the pans or to take out this and when you do you have this mixing area and then you have that mixing area and then you can kind of switch out the pans as and when you wish um so yeah i basically got this so that i can paint on the go a bit more and a bit more freely like without being worried about it i've already finished it i don't have to worry about the cost of it i don't have to worry about wasting paints or anything like that it's just a happy-go-lucky set that i can carry with me in terms of the colors that i included there is chinese white quinacridone rose prussian blue burnt umber Payne's gray permanent lemon yellow permanent red light ultramarine deep sap green yellow ochre azo yellow medium madder lake deep cerulean blue phalo viridian green and burnt sienna not too sure about what order they've put things in so i think that when the time comes i'm going to open it swatch it out and then put it in an order that makes a bit more sense to me like having the yellows together the blues together the reds together but apart from that just a wonderful introductory set i think i put this in as an honorable mention because although i got it from amazon a while ago i am getting more and this is essentially a watercolor tin that i got from amazon that comes empty with i think 50 half pans as well as magnets and it just allows me to make my own customizable palette and if you've seen my daniel smith video then you'll see that i've just added a whole set of Daniel Smith paints to it and it just allowed me to easily carry these paints and travel with them and yes I'm a big big fan and it's genuinely the reason <laughs> that I have been able to paint with my Daniel Smith paints more comfortably because they are just there and ready to go. They are advertised as the 12 half pan set but I can actually fit 20 half pans in there really comfortably. Obviously if I put in 14 half pans then I'll be able to leave the middle bit open for a travel brush but yeah definitely consider it in the spirit of experimenting i also got this okay very well wrapped oh cute tin okay open it yeah i mean wow so it's nice and heavy which is good and this is basically oh look at that a fountain pen so as you know I like complementing a lot of my paintings with um with ink but a lot of the time I just tend to use fine liners and they've been working very well for me but I wanted to just try and experiment a bit more with using fountain pens because I just feel like they can give you more expression different types of lines different it's just a whole different kind of vibe and the one that I got I hope that you can see the one that I got has like a slightly bent nib at the end so it means that I can do like thin strokes thick strokes thin to thick strokes it just gives me a bit more versatility in theory it's a bit harder because I'm new to <laughs> I'm new to it but why not and then the other thing that I liked about this oh, it's, ooh, is that it actually comes with this kind of cartridge which means that I can suck up the ink rather than buying individual cartridges so if this works well which I hope it will do then I'll be able to just like experiment with different inks and like save someone did point out also that you end up saving plastic because rather than buying lots and lots and lots of pens and throwing them away you just have a few pens that you refill with ink so in keeping with that I also ended up getting this which is a nice dark black ink which is what I wanted and it actually took a while to find um an ink that would be suitable for fountain pen and suitable and also waterproof and Tio Yu Chi on YouTube has a really good video that he made where he basically compared the different kind of inks to see which ones are waterproof and this one happened to be one of them that was relatively black and also waterproof so that it could complement my watercolors and that is why I got this so you see it's there and then you turn it and the plunger comes up to the top so you turn it this way it goes down 
and then you turn it this way it comes up should we risk it for a biscuit we put it not that i don't have faith in myself but let me oh okay so put it in turn it oh it worked and i'll link everything that i got down below for you so, so it is a hong dian forest series pen and let me close this oh no do you think i did it wrong oh it is working look at that thick line thin line it's not like flowing smoothly yet okay it worked <laughs> it actually worked i'm so happy okay let me put that to the side and as some of you may know i want to learn more about color and james gurney who also has like a series of amazing um, videos here on youtube wrote this book which has been highly recommended called color and light a guide for the realist painter i think this will be a really good way to learn about color and i you know i'm self-taught so i haven't done any of this like reading and research and stuff as of yet like this is all pretty much new to me but i've heard that he kind of puts it in a really nice and clear way highlighting everything that you kind of need to know and i think based on his youtube videos i i trust that <laughs> so i'm basically going to slowly may be making my way through and yeah he has like information on pigments information on like light fastness underpaintings doing sky paintings monochromatic paintings different interactions like he just has so much information and i'm not like big on reading but i think he has so many pictures to beautifully illustrate what he's saying that i should be okay <laughs> i mean obviously i read like you know got through university and stuff but i tend i think that's why i'm drawn towards um that's why i'm drawn towards youtube just because i just prefer video media and just to kind of give you a hint obviously i don't want to show the whole book but this is kind of like the chapters that are included so tradition sources of light light and form elements of color paint and pigments color relationships pre-mixing visual perception surfaces and effects atmospheric lights changing show and then resources we managed to get that done relatively quickly so what i will probably do is swatch the karen dash like i'm really really excited to just see how they behave and then i will do a separate video swatching the Paul Rubens and the Royal Talons Van Gogh set. Now, what I'm swatching on is actually the last item from the haul, which is the Claire Fontaine Gold Line Watercolour Paper. It's 100 sheets of 200 GSM cold pressed paper in a pad, so it's only glued on one edge of the paper, and it's slightly larger than A4 size. And the reason that I got it is because I like having loose sheets to practice on or to carry with me in my sketchbooks as well. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not that keen on this paper in terms of first impressions one thing that the uh, neo color twos are showing quite clearly is the texture of the paper and it is cold pressed so it will have some texture but i prefer it when it's not so prominent and so almost like uniform because i feel like it actually detracts from the painting because you're focusing on the pattern of the paper but that's initial impressions anyway in terms of the swatches don't judge me too harsh uh, i just wanted to get an idea of how the pastels feel what they look like they do feel harder than i thought in my head i kind of thought it would almost be like um using oil pastels but they're harder than that and look at that it actually turns into watercolor and i know that it's in the name and whatever but i was genuinely surprised by how water like watercolor like esque the paints ended up being and how bright and vibrant they are um you can still see almost like the texture of the paper underneath where the pastels went over it so it doesn't completely dissolve but for some that will be perhaps an effect that they want I kept trying and I think that maybe if I kept trying and going over and over and over and over I would be able to kind of get rid of that or if I used hot press paper then I wouldn't see it so prominently but for now it doesn't really bother me much but yeah you can just see the colours are so beautiful like especially that pink oh I, I love it 
This is literally like very, very first impressions. I haven't used them before. I didn't even know that they were a thing up until recently. So I suspect that the more I kind of play around with them, the better insights I will have. And if this is something that you want to see, like if you want to see a review video, then please let me know down below in the comments. And that is something that I will do for you when the time comes. But some things that I've kind of learned by, um, you know, the little bit of research that I did do before buying them is that one of the things is you can sharpen them as well. But when you sharpen them, don't throw away the shavings. Instead, put them in a pan and then you can add water and again, turn it into watercolor. Some people will do what I've done, which is kind of like use them on the paper first and then add water. But you can also use a wet brush and take the colour straight off the pastel as well. So that's something to do. But just look at those colours, like especially the, the blues, the teals, the uh, greens, I think would just make a beautiful like ocean scene. I'm trying to get better at painting water. So perhaps that's why I've got water on the brain. But yeah, and I think that there will be a really good way to just complement the watercolours that I have already. Like in my mind, this is what is going to be most useful for me and now we move on to the flower and i'm really curious to see how this will turn out because i don't know i just want to see will the colors mix nicely am i able to just use it to create beautiful loose florals and i think the answer is yes like look at how bright and beautiful those colors are and apparently they're also light fast as well so they're good quality and versatile and yeah i, I actually really like them <laughs> i'm so glad you never know if you're going to have like buyer's remorse when you buy things but I'm genuinely so excited to just like keep experimenting with this try it on hot press paper cold press paper rough paper the whole thing <laughs> I keep calling them crayons but um, please forgive me you know what I mean and then let's try with the yellow to orange to red and then seeing what happens with the white yeah it's a bit more pastel-y can you see so that worked and then this whoa look at all those colors i think this also worked so again could be like a lovely way to just add extra colors or extra details to watercolor paintings or gouache paintings or anything really and just please forgive me just messing around this was just more to kind of see how they behaved and how they worked and as I mentioned there is texture here which I think is kind of skewing the results a little bit and here is a close-up just so that you can see not only the colors but also the texture of the paper and hopefully that will help you decide if this is something that you want to invest in all in all this haul came up to 150 pounds which considering everything that we got I think is actually a really decent price so the color and light book was 13 pounds the carbon ink was £14, the fountain pen was £17, then everything that we got from Paul Rubens came up to a total of £53, the Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s were £18 and they're on sale from £26, the A5 size moleskin watercolour album in portrait was £12 instead of £17, the Van Gogh set of watercolours were £16, Pounds. and the Clairefontaine gold line watercolour pad with 100 sheets was £13. Give or take a few pounds on either side it all came up to around £150 over the period of a few months. If you're still watching then you are a real MVP and I really really appreciate you. Thank you so so much. Let me know and everyone else in the comments know that you are still watching by telling me what your favourite item from this haul is or if there's anything that you have on your wish list that you are about to treat yourself to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.